So how do Taurus the bull and Aries the ram get on in love, sex, marriage and romance? I'm going to look at this example of these two cosmic signs in relation to Victoria and David Beckham, because they're a good example. David Beckham being the Taurus on the 2nd of May and Victoria Beckham being the Aries on the 17th of April. Uh, I think they're a very well-known couple, of course, Victoria, formerly of the Spice Girls, and David Beckham, the soccer star. Right, so this is actually not one of the best combinations for Taurus in particular. Not so great for Aries either. But um, one can never say, however, that this won't work on sun sign alone, because this can actually end up being a very complementary partnership, with the Aries partner helping the Taurus to be more proactive and less passive about life. And the Aries can bring adventure, action and excitement to the Taurian, who can fall into a semi-satisfied, complacent routine at times. The bull can in turn help the Arian to be more committed and consistent about his or her goals. Now, one of the things I know about uh, David and Victoria Beckham, he's kind of OCD. He's very organized. You know, he, he can get obsessed with his cupboards and every, all his clothes. You know, he's very, um, like many Taurians, he has these material desires. You know, he likes to have all his material things in order. He likes to collect. He likes to hoard, obviously. He's very interested in his clothes and his image. She's the one who kind of motivates him and encourages him to get out. She is the PR brains behind them. She's the one who sort of cultivated their brand, their image. She looks after all the managerial side. She deals more with the finances, with the staff. She's kind of the organized one. He's more the talent in the relationship. And also he attends to help ground her because she said when she's not with him, she could basically just sit in all night and drink a glass of wine and wouldn't even bother to cook herself a meal. But somehow when they're together, you know, she makes more of an effort and she has better routines. So he's helping to ground her and make help her to take care of herself better. And she's kind of forming a role almost like his manager looking after him. As all good Aries women, however, she also stands by her man. And Aries, particularly women, always stand by their partner, similar to how I talked about um, Merka Federer standing by um, Roger Federer, who also being an Aries, Posh is always, or Posh as we call her, sometimes Posh and Bex, Victoria has always stood by David through the highs and lows. There's something that binds them together. Her, particularly Victoria is particularly determined to make this, Aries, this relationship work, and that's what you often find from the Arian. So both signs, however, are very down to earth. These are the first two signs of the Zodiac. They're not airy fairy. They're not flighty. They are real people with real desires. Uh, they don't get carried away with them idealistic notions. They're very much into the real world and they understand the real world. And that's why they tend to be actually very, very successful in business together, as um, David and Victoria have been. You know, although soccer stars, kind of their star wanes, pop stars, well, they go out of fashion. But they've created an enduring brand. So these two coming together can create an enduring, successful business. So they're also very sensual. And so the sex life will be very amorous and satisfying. Both Taurus and Aries love romance. And so whining and dialing is all sorted. But for the fact that the bull's ideas about romance are not particularly the rams. Um, Taurus is a lot more patient in love, wants to take their time, wants to really experience things. Uh, Aries are much more impulsive. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. They just want to get in there while they feel red hot and experience the warmth of passion. Taurus tend to like a slower build-up, but definitely you can come to a happy medium, you guys. So, as I was saying, Taurians like to take it slow. Aries like instant gratification. So while Taurus like to soak up the moment, Aries like to pounce and seize that moment. So you can see there's some problems in terms of timing and getting the most of your love life, especially when the man is Aries and the woman is Taurus. It kind of exacerbates that timing issue. You may have to take it in turns, or perhaps the Taurus needs to show the Arian that foreplay can provide quite a bit of stimulation that is also gratifying and certainly worthwhile. You guys have very different styles in love. Aries is robust, active, and wants to be the force controlling things, and to the Taurus's style is to taste, feel, and live every moment. 
essentially very alert taurus crave being held they like the tenderness of touch the warmth of their partner's breath and the way he or she grabs a taurus hole hard and rubs their back sometimes the small nuances really turn a taurus on so aries you have to pay more attention to detail and to the little things in love life to get your taurus really hot the arian however has what the Taurus lacks, and that's the power to initiate, both in terms of sex and in other walks of life. So I bet it would be the Aries that made the first move in the relationship, yeah? So was it Victoria that came on to David? I can't remember it was so long ago, but I'm thinking that it probably was. So the Taurus can help the Aries pay more attention to and get more stimulation from the senses. And Aries can help Taurus to just let go and have more fun, be more spontaneous, don't think too much. Taurus can be very stuck in their ways, and they're very resistant to change. Of all the signs, being earth and fixed, Taurus are, are very set. They get very set in their ways. They like structure. They love routine. And the ram can really challenge that of that side of Taurus and bring out um, a more adaptable, more spontaneous, and more pioneering side of the bull. One of the downsides is that both these signs tend to be rather self-centered in lovemaking. You both want more out of it than you're prepared to give. So Taurus will probably eke more compromises out of the Aryan eventually. What with the bull and his or her stubbornness and the ram and his or her tendency to demand his or her way, they're bound to be clashes in and out of the bedroom. You are both signs with a red-hot temper. Aries lose their temper quickly and then they calm down. Taurus take a long time to lose their temper. But when they do, it's kind of scary and then it takes them a long time to get over it. So both these signs are actually quite feisty. Both rely heavily as well on gut instinct, and your fights tend to be explosive. And the problem is, though, Taurus often harbor, and they build up this anger. And so when the Aries decides to have a tantrum about something small, Taurus may suddenly unleash a whole month's worth of pent-up feeling, which will totally surprise the Arian. Taurian tempers can even upset the normally thick-skinned Aries, so watch out. Aries tend to say what they think when they think it. They let you know the minute you have upset them. Taurus really like peace and harmony. They're quite lazy, Taurus, not so much in terms of their work ethic, but they're lazy about relationships. They don't want unnecessary angst. They don't want unnecessary arguments. It's all just too much trouble. So they'll let things slide. They'll take an easy line. They'll just let things fly again and again until something fairly innocuous sets them off and then pow, it all comes out. Aries find this terribly hard to handle. They don't understand why Taurus doesn't just say what they're thinking when they're thinking it and have lots of small outbursts rather than these huge ones. Taurus often find the Aries, Aries too honest and possibly not diplomatic enough. Careless comments from the Aries can often offend or hurt Taurus. Taurus like everything tempered with niceties and diplomacy. Taurians really don't enjoy harsh words. Even when Taurus lose their temper, they tend to only say what they really mean. Aries are very different. They lose their temper. They say virtually anything that comes off the top of their head. Most of it they don't even mean. And this side they don't understand of each other at all. So Taurus get very hurt because they think Aries mean everything they've said. Aries think Taurus don't mean half of what they say in an argument when Taurus actually do mean it, guys. So take note. So Aries are highly competitive. They love challenges. They're very daring. And Aries might just find Taurus a little bit too safe or conventional. Aries cope a lot better with change than Taurus. Who very, Like I said, they're very stuck in their ways. And while the Taurus may regard the Aries as kind of reckless, a little bit risque, and indulging in ill-considered ventures, and the Taurus may feel that he or she always have to pick up the pieces and always has to be the sensible one. And this is quite draining for Taurus. They kind of just don't want to go with the Aries instinct. They kind of want to hold back and say, have you thought this through? And it really troubles them that Aries haven't thought it through. So this partnership can work very well if you two are business partners because there's a combination of initiation, enterprise, structure, ability to finish, and consistent effort. The Aries is always the one who gets the ball rolling, and the Taurus will make sure it comes to a solid completion. Taurus always complete their side of the bargain in this love match, and that's what makes it strong. Taurus are also very good with money and can help the Aryan manage money better. 
I think with Victoria and David Beckham, it's not really working that way. I think she's a bit more savvy with money. But maybe that's because, you know, footballers don't get a very good education, do they? So that could be behind that. But you probably find David is rather mean. He's not, not mean in a bad way. Let's call it frugal. He's probably quite frugal if you got to know him. So his Torian instincts about money are probably coming through in that way where he wants to cut back and save and maybe just, you know, keep things a little bit smaller whereas she's more expansive. Arians are very organized and they can help Taurus to make their work environment more efficient and effective. Taurians are not always organized. Sometimes they can be a little bit slovenly, a little bit messy. Aries tend to be pretty organized, so they can help Taurus with that. It's certainly a passionate pairing. Gosh, there's no shortage of sparks flying here. And perhaps your very different needs and drives can come to an exciting equilibrium, both in bed, emotionally, and just in your, in your whole life. You are both very strong-minded people. So while the ram is very headstrong, the bull is very stubborn and won't move an inch. You both know your own minds and what you want, and you're not very comp neither of you are very compromising, actually. The ram might be the initial aggressor in the relationship, but the bull will stand ground and insist on his or her own way as well. So although Aries can be outwardly quite domineering in the relationship, Taurus can actually be quite controlling. And um, there's quite a lot of jealousy and competitiveness going on, but about totally different things. So where, Je where Aries are maybe intimidated or jealous about one thing, Taurus find totally different things intimidating or, or envy creating. Taurus like peace and relaxation, and they can often find that Aries are just constantly at the activity and pressure, 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 and they find this quite vexing. And what's more, the Aries tendency to get hot under the collar and hit up about small things really irritates the bull, because Taurus basically want a quiet life. So some of the activities that Aries pursue really don't accord with the bull's priorities and values. And that's when the bull gets a little bit annoyed. So the two of you really do need separate interests and time apart. And you need to stay out of each other's business when it comes to these separate things. Just don't interfere. You need space in your life to have something that's totally your own where the other one just stays away from it. So it is a challenging pairing. Often turbulent, but it's full of spice and it can work. Aries just love a challenge, and to be honest, the bull is no pushover. Sexually, it's exciting, and there's certainly a very strong attraction. The Aries will open the bull up to new experiences and create more excitement, and the bull will shower the ram in affection, fun, and also help the ram stop and smell the flowers and appreciate beauty more often. Out of the bedroom, there's a lot of complementary att attributes which can help you both be better people, and in that way you do make a good team. Aries help Taurus deal with deep-seated issues by bringing emotional complexes long buried to the surface, and in this way the relationship can be highly transformative for Taurus. Taurus, however, must be wary of the fact that Aries, on a negative level, can play on the Taurian weaknesses for their own manipulative purposes. Taurus can help Aries be more business-minded and organized, in terms of their financial affairs, of course. They can also help Aries develop more methodology and a systematic work ethic. Taurus can draw the Aries' attention to talents they've forgotten about or neglected and help them to develop these. This relationship allows Aries to tap into deep resources of inner strength, and the Taurus are able to shine a light into the darker places in their own psyche, bringing rebirth and regeneration. Taurus tend to get on best with Arians born on the 24th and the 29th of March, also the 6th, 7th, 11th, 15th and 20th of April. Aries relate well to Taurus born on the 27th of April and also the 9th and 18th of May. Um, some more examples, as I said, we did a Victorian David Beckham. Also Ellen Barkin and Gabrielle Bryan. Karen Blixen of Out of Africa fame, the film, the move and the book Out of Africa. And Dennis Finch Hatton. Michelle Pfeiffer and David E. Kelly. Um, Michelle is the Taurus there, David is the Aries. Rene Zellweger, who's the Taurus, and Kenny Chesney, he's Aries. Bjorn Ulvarez, who is the Taurus, and Agneta Foscott, or Aries. Those are both of ABBA, now divorced, but another example of this rather exciting pairing.